In this video, I'm going to describe uh, broadcasting in NumPy. And broadcasting is uh, when NumPy performs arithmetics on two arrays or more arrays that have different sizes or shapes. And it's that NumPy is trying to do something clever behind the scenes, trying to optimize the code to do something fast and trying to guess what we intend. Um, and sometimes it leads to good things and sometimes bad, but it's always important to understand what it is that it's doing. So let me give the simplest example I can. <clears throat> Let's start by creating an array that's four by two and then creating two different vectors. One of them is a one dimensional vector and the other one is a two dimensional vector. And the way that we can always check this is by printing out the shape of B is two and the shape of C is two by one. Or alternatively, the property number of dimensions for each of these two arrays. So B has only one dimension, but C has two. So <coughs> when we ask NumPy to add B to A, it's clear that the two have different sizes but it seems pretty obvious what we're trying to do. This, this is two dimensional, so probably we want the one to be added to all of these elements in the rows and the two to be added to all of the elements in the columns. And NumPy is indeed going to interpret uh, it like that. So you can see we're adding one to all of these numbers and two to all of the numbers in the second um, column. And let's try and do the same thing with C which is our two dimensional array, which is A and C has the shape two by one and A is four by two. And that fails. And it's giving us the value error operands could not be broadcast together with shapes four by two and two by one. So it's not allowing that. This would be perfectly natural shapes to do a matrix multiplication uh, where the innermost dimensions have to be identical but it doesn't work for a plus or the, at least NumPy isn't allowing it. But actually if we transpose A so that it's two by, so that it's two by four instead, then um, it will work. <clears throat> and we can transpose the final result. So if we don't transpose the final result, here it is. It's doing the same thing. It's adding one to all of the rows now and two to all of the columns, uh, to all of the second row. Um, and so if we transpose it, we get the original answer. So here we have an example where the fact that C is two dimensional means that uh, NumPy uh, is only willing to add these two arrays if uh, they share one of the dimensions in common. Uh, and in this case, um, um, this A has second dimension two, whereas C has first dimension two. So that's why it works when we transpose it. Alternatively, we could have transposed C instead, um, but then we don't need to transpose the, uh, the final result. So this will work because now C is a row vector and they share the second dimension. <clears throat> so that's addition and we can actually do all the same thing here, things here with, um, with uh, the asterisk operator, which is multiplication. And here we have the same result we're getting. Uh, it only works when they share the same dimension if C is two dimensional. So times is the element wise multiplication operator. Uh, it has the same, uh, it performs in the same way in terms of broadcasting. All right, so now let's try to move towards the matrix product. And the matrix product in NumPy um, is denoted by the at sign. So we start by just multiplying element-wise A and B. This is the first part of a matrix product. And the second part is to take the sum over uh, the rows. And that's what happens here when we sum over the first axis. So if we take A mul multiplied by B and sum over the first axis, then the result that comes out of this is a, a one-dimensional array having shape equal to four, which is of course equal to its size. There are four elements in it. 
<clears throat> and we can see that this is the same thing as using the at sign, so doing the matrix product of A times B. Conversely, as we saw before, we're not allowed to do the element-wise product between A and C. We would have to transpose C in order to, for this to work. And um, again, what we can see is that for matrix multiplications, these shapes are actually correct because they sh the matrix A and the vector C share the innermost dimensions. So if we transpose here, um, it doesn't work because now the uh, dimensions mismatch. And we get this met mul value error, matrix multiplication value error. <coughs> okay, so once again, if B is a one-dimensional vector and A is a matrix, then we're allowed to do this uh, product so long as they share a dimension. Um, but as we can see, we can't multiply for the, from the front. So uh, even though B has only one dimension and matches to the second dimension of A, the matrix product order is that if we're multiplying with a two by one vector, it has to be afterwards. So it has to respect the ordering of uh, um, individual components of the product. <clears throat> okay, the last thing I want to say on uh, broadcasting is what happens if we add a one dimensional and a two dimensional array. So, so far what we've been doing is we've been adding a matrix with vectors. So let's instead now <clears throat> consider that we'd start by having a matrix A and then we collapse it so that it becomes a one-dimensional vector or if we take the product with C which is two-dimensional then the resulting vector is a two-dimensional -dim vector it's still a column vector but now we have explicitly that it's standing up so let's ask what happens if we add y and z and this gives us the somewhat perhaps surprising result that we get a full 4x4 four four matrix and we can see here that what we're getting is every possible combination of, um, <clears throat> of um, sums that could be made by the two vectors let's try and make the the vectors actually be different so let's create a, a, a third vector um, let's make it a four vector whoops it's a range okay so now let's add y and v um, oops not y z so y is the one dimensional vector so if we add two one dimensional vectors then it does exactly what we expect and it just does it element wise because the, all of the dimensions match but z <clears throat> so if we add these two even though <clears throat> numpy doesn't know whether v is a column or a row vector um, it knows that z is a column vector so it's returning every possible combination of the sum of these two vectors so we're getting out a 4x4 four four matrix and if we transpose it um, that's actually a little bit surprising. Okay, so this only happens if we... I did not know that. Okay, anyways, so if we add apparently a column vector with a one-dimensional vector, then we get a full matrix. And that can be a little bit surprising. That's It's rarely what we're after. And we can undo this by explicitly telling NumPy that um, we want the first column of Z. Recall that Z has only one column, so we're telling it that we want the only column from Z. And if we add those two, then we are adding two vectors that both have one dimension. Alternatively, what we can do is we can flatten Z. That does the same thing. And finally, what we can do is we can take our one dimensional vector and we can reshape it so that it gets the matching dimension. By the way, this is the same as typing four comma one. With four, I have to know explicitly what the dimension is. This goes 
uh, arrive if I'm putting in the wrong dimension here. Minus one is, is allowing me to cheat here and just say whatever. I want one dimension here and the rest here. So if we add these two, um, then the two vectors that we're adding are both two-dimensional and they have uh, all of their dimensions are identical. So NumPy understands that this is a simple element-wise multiplication, no broadcasting required.